Hey guys, so today's pretty straightforward. We're going to be downloading Novara and we're going to be installing it, updating it, and upgrading it to Novara 41. And if you haven't noticed, there's a new wiki here, which provides you with all the instructions and everything you need. So we're going to be following that to the letter. Should be fun. Hopefully it should be pretty straightforward. We're using the official version of GNOME, in other words, KDE with a theme. There's nothing special about it, but it's the official version, so why not? And we're going to be using VMware to get it done, because VMware is the best. And, well, until Vert Manager updates to use Vulkan, uh, it's not really much use to us. Are you ready? All right, let's do this. Uh, hopefully this will be perfectly in tuned and well, I don't know if it includes the open VM tools or not, but I'm hoping that it does so that we don't, we don't have to stretch it. If we do have to stretch it, we stretch it during the install. It's fine. So there it goes. Oh, that does, that looks kind of pretty close, but are we going to get a picture? By the way, if you're on NVIDIA and you're installing this for the first time, building ACK mods is going to take about a minute or two, uh, depending on your CPU speed. So if it just sits there, sit with it and, uh, you know, do your best to have some patience. Okay. All right. So we don't have to use this. Great. Again, we are using VMware. So there we go. We're in 1440p. It's like a real install. And again, let's go all the way to the back. Okay. Set up your language. Set up where you are. Uh, set up your keyboard layout. Okay. And I'm going to just erase the disk because I have nothing here. Uh, if you have Windows already installed and it's GPT, in other words, UEFI compatible, an option will show up here that says install alongside. Now, once that's done, you can click down here if you selected that option and there's a bar that you'll be able to move that will give Nabora all the space that it needs, all the space that you want it to have. So you are able to dual boot with this. I'm not going to go into any more detail about that. I still have to do a video about that. And we're just going to enter some stuff. By the way, this is a bug and it's really, really annoying. Uh, it, it makes me want to like, <clears throat> I don't know, punch some kid from South Park. There we go. Hit next and install. The installation is going to take quite a bit of time depending on, again, uh, your ability to extract from every goddamn time. Every goddamn time KDE crashes for me on video. It's like the gods telling me what the fuck are you doing? Matt, what are you doing? It doesn't matter if I'm in a VM or on real hardware. The minute that I start recording, it crashes. Isn't it beautiful? We'll be right back after the installation is done. Oh, yeah. And now that we're in, and I've made a bunch of corn jokes in the private admin channel, um, here's the cool part. It's done. It's ready. We're on the first desktop, and I'm just waiting for Plasma to crash again so we can meme on that. But for right now... We're going to hit no. No. And the reason why we're hitting no is not because it doesn't need to be done. It's because I don't like the slow download speed of DNF. It pisses me off. And I want to get this video done in a neat and timely manner. So we're going to edit uh, DNF conf. Oh, I, I really, really hate how laggy and unresponsive this is. And what I mean by that is uh, just how the how KDE performs in a VM. Okay, it's not fun. Fastest mirror. 
I think I spelled that right. Equals true. <laughs> Done. Now we're going to hit clear. And we're going to sudo uh, DNF update. Refresh. This is just to refresh the repos in the mirror so we can gather the fastest hosts. Okay, this is not so that we can, you know, uh, update this way because you don't want to do that. You never want to do that. It's also good to refresh the mirrors themselves. So we're going to hit no. All right, then we're going to go over here to this corner and we're going to click update system. We're going to enter the password and uh, we're going to let this funky little updater do all the work for us. Do not update using discover. Do not update using software center. Do not update using the terminal. You will only update using this. This is the main way to update Nabora. This is because this updater has ways of dealing with various issues, conflicts, and such. And you're going to need this to be able to pull that off. So please, don't, don't mess around like that. You don't want to break your system. And then you have to go into the Discord. And then you tell them what you did. And then you get corrected multiple times. It's not fun. I've never had to go through it, but let's just not do things the wrong way, okay? This updater is designed to make life easy for you. See how freaking fast that was? Man, fastest mirror equal true. People think it's stupid snake oil, but it works. It works really well, and the fact that we can download like multiple things at once really helps as well. So this is the first step to updating to Nabora uh, 41. That's going to update the kernel modules and everything like that. And after this, we're going to reboot. So uh, this is going to take a little while. If you're on NVIDIA, at the very end, it's going to do ACMODS and uh, DrawCot.F. You need to wait for that until it says the task is finished and then you can reboot. Okay, but then honestly, run sudo ACMODS and sudo DrawCot-F again, just to make sure because ACMODS are the worst thing in history. And people blame NVIDIA for it. It's not NVIDIA's fault that they have to use ACMODs. That was done by someone else. Okay? ACMODs suck. Get it right. Please. ACMODs are bad. Flashbang. No, it's not really a flashbang, but I like this background a lot better. This is just too dark looking. Uh, it asks us if we want to reboot now. We're going to hit yes. And we're going to reboot. And then we can get on with the upgrades to Nabora 41, which is what we wanted to do in the first place. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go open my Microsoft Edge. I'm going to restore the page and um, we're going to get on with that. By the way, this is really annoying. I have to do this twice. It doesn't automatically adjust like it used to back in the day. Now we're going to open up console one of the worst terminals that i've ever used i'm not a fan of it honestly i would rather have sudo dnf installed pty xis because pyaxis is like so much better in every way compared to every other terminal it's it's really nice so again this is up to you. You want to install PyAxis? You can install PyAxis. And that's totally not what it's called, by the way. Uh, I don't know actually what it's called, but it's in the Fedora repos. And it's, uh, all I know is it's super pretty. And you can customize it to your own. And it will be default in many, 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 many distros coming forth. Okay. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. See the things it can do? Like, I like that. Aw, oh, pastel colors. Deal. So, this is the first thing we type. Pseudo DNF update Nabora repos Nabora GPT, uh, GPG keys uh, release refresh. Okay, that's what it says. That's what it says. This is the first thing that we do. And we're going to enter our password. And hopefully it will determine the fastest mirror available and get that done for us. And once this is finished, uh, if you have the Nomoro.repo or you need, should do this. Removing conflicting packages. So we're going to need to remove conflicting packages as well. Great. So let's just see if we have any conflicting packages. 
Uh, yes, we do. Go away, conflicting packages. And... If you're on GNOME version... Uh, by the way, yes, if you are on the GNOME version, do disable all your extensions, okay? Let's see what happens here. Aha, uh -huh, see? There we go. Hit yes. I never did it this way. They do it this way. So as you can see, we're downloading pretty quickly. That would be because of the fastest miracles true and the fact that we're downloading multiple files at once, up to 20. So it's actually going to go pretty quick. I like it going really quickly. And, uh... Well, that's the way that it works. Now this is going to take a while. And remember, do not click allow erasing. Do not even enter it, all right? We don't want to do that. We don't want to anger the gods. Angering the gods is never a good thing. It's not. Wow, look at it go. It's so shiny. It's so shiny. It works. By the way, if you're wondering how to make Pyoxys transparent, there's a, um, the way to do so is in my uh, Discord in Linux tips and guides or whatever it's called. You'll find a forum post about that. That is not a help channel. That is for people to post their experience and uh, support channels are for support. All right, just figure I'd mention that. We had a bunch of confused people that don't understand that support means support and uh, tips and tricks doesn't mean support. We tried a support forum and it didn't work. Nobody used it. And the people that did use it never got it. their issues fixed there they got it fixed in like actual support channels so yeah by the way people if you blur your eyes it's like you're traveling down through mountains yeah and trees but you have to turn your head sideways it's pretty cool so if you ever want to make a game out of it just blur your eyes and the background text turns into mountains and trees it's really nifty and if you can't blur your eyes I'm sorry you're not as evolved as much as I am and other people. Having special powers is fun. <clears throat> like the ability to blur my hearing. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but it's possible. Uh, once this is finished, you can reboot your system. Okay, so after this, we can reboot our system. I just want to make sure that we follow everything to the letter. And we're going to hit yes to this as well. And running transaction test. That was a lot of files that we did download, so it's going to take a while for them to all install and do its thing. Remember that patience is the key when doing this. And I'm trying to run over every bit of it for you so that you can definitely know and understand what's going on versus being jump cut, jump cut, jump cut, jump cut. Yeah, I just expect you to know type of thing. I'm not that type of person. I'll jump cut now and again. But it's only when I want to insert multiple creepy faces. There we go. Everything is upgrading. All 6,192 packages. So again, this should have no more problems. If it's doing this, then you're good to go. So, I can literally stop here until the reboot point, okay? So you guys don't have to watch this. And now, we reboot. Reboot. Man, I love that TV show. Reboot was awesome. So now we have the 6.12.4 kernel. Thank you, Lion, for updating to that. And uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to get out of there. And once it's booted in, we're going to make the screen a little bit bigger. There we go. Now we just log in, and that's it. It's done. We are on 41. And if I open up the terminal app, that's what Pyaxis calls itself, by the way, because it's uh, it's it's cool like that. Do we have fast fetch? We do. My God. As you can see, we are on Nabora Linux 41 KDE Plasma. With the Linux 6.12.4 kernel, you'll also have the newest NVIDIA drivers, which are absolutely amazing if you have NVIDIA, by the way. So there you go. Now you know how to pull this off. Honestly, I'm going to put in some extra here.
if you're on nvidia and you have a pascal card uh it's very 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 super important to do something okay if you want your graphics card to work again and uh i'm gonna show it to you i'm gonna literally turn it into a single line for you okay once again we're gonna open up the terminal app blow this up i really do hate how this performs i'm hoping that vulcan rendering support comes soon for both of these so this is your first line what this does is it changes from kernel open the kernel closed so that your pascal card can work so if we do this and we add pseudo act mods rebuild okay this is needed then we do this and we do sudo draw cot all right dash f regenerate you can hit tab to auto complete by the way and then after all of that's done hit reboot this is needed for pascal cards only if you want to switch the closed driver and you're on newer cards feel free to do so you'll get better performance and honestly probably a lot less bugs I notice KDE doesn't freeze at all on the closed driver, where on the open driver it can freeze from time to time. Uh, they did fix that in EGL, but I'm not sure if that applies to the open driver or not. Anyway, with that, that's all you need to do. That is how you upgrade. Same goes for GNOME, same goes for the NVIDIA GNOME and the KDE GNOME and everything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like button, you know, subscribe. Uh, don't forget that we have members here on YouTube, so hit join and help support me. We also have Ko-Fi if you want to donate. Links are in the description below. And if you have any issues at all with this upgrade process, do head to the Nabora Discord. Use the Nabora channel, and they will help you there. Bye, everybody. <laughs>